I want to share with you my recipe for pumpkin cake. Now I know pumpkin isn't exactly an ingredient we're overly familiar with, especially when it comes to baking something sweet here, but you can use here butternut squash as well, just roast it in the oven, let it go cool and puree it, easy enough, but you can also get cans of pumpkin puree and they can be hard to come by, but I also have another ingredient that you can use and it is actually my preferred one and it's something we're a little more familiar with and that is the sweet potato. So what I do with these is when I'm using the oven, I stick a few on a tray and roast them in a hot oven for about an hour and then anytime I need mash or I want to make this cake, I have all I have to do is peel off the skin and use a fork and to mash it into a puree. So we'll get underway with the cake now. It's very easy. We'll get started with the dry ingredients. 250 grams of plain flour. 2 teaspoons of baking powder and 1 teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda I want 1 teaspoon of fine sea salt Let's mix things up a little bit here 1 teaspoon of brown cinnamon and I want just a tiniest bit of cloves, just a small pinch enough. go very gently with the brown cloves otherwise it may be more like a trip to the dentist and then I want some fresh nutmeg which I'm just going to grate in. You can use ground of course though. Stir together and that is our dry ingredients done. Let's start off the wet ingredients with our sweet potato. I'm just going to peel this So now just with a fork, I'm just going to mash that into a puree. Another great alternative here is if you see bags of frozen cubed butternut squash, they also are great for this. Just follow the same process and mash them. 250 mils of sunflower oil, 200 grams of light brown soft sugar, 75 grams of, of castor sugar, Four eggs, squash of vanilla, sweet potato. Final ingredient is just the zest of an orange. Love the scent you get in zesting any citrus fruit. The 
is the zest that contains most of the flavour. All we need to do is mix this all together. So I have a grease cake tin here. Um, you can use a loaf tin. This one is slightly decorated and ornate. It just um, makes, gives you a very elegant and highly decorated cake with no work. <laughs> All I do is just brush it well with oil. Then I set it upside down with a sink or somewhere for the excess oil to drip off. Um, but also a great tin for this is a bump tin. So I'm just going to pour the batter. It's quite a thick batter into my cake tin. Bake in a preheated 180 degree oven for one hour or until a skewer inserted into the center comes out. My cake is cooled and I've just turned it out onto a wire rack. Ready for the icing. To make the icing it's very very simple. I've got 50 grams of icing sugar here and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water to this. Just mix to a smooth consistency. Brush the cake all over with the icing. Now this won't stay visible when I have a, such a highly decorated top of my cake. I don't want to cover it up. This really just acts as a glue for my other ingredient. I do have some parchment paper underneath this just to capture all the icing that drips down the sides. And to finish off my cake, I am just going to scatter with some very appropriate time. Now, this somehow I don't know how but with the it brings out the orange zest in the cake and heightens the intensity of the flavor of the pumpkin as well. Thyme is just my favorite herb I love it. And there we have it it's ready to go I think I'll just transfer it to a plate. recipe and want to keep up to date with all my other recipes please subscribe and turn on notifications.